Okay, dude, today's been a weird day, chat. Today's been such a weird day. Um, because Overwatch dropped this tweet earlier today, and, and, and it says, something is coming and fast. Stay tuned for more. Overwatch 2 X Porsche. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't. What? Uh, who saw this one coming? <laughs> Collabing with Porsche is uh, very interesting. Uh, there's more though. Hold up. Let me see. And then they drop this. And apparently, this is designed with luxury in mind. Check out the Diva skin concept art co-designed by Overwatch 2 X Porsche and inspired by the stunning Makan EV. And it drops these two. Hang on, I gotta I gotta open this image in another tab. What in the world, dude? Like <laughs> the new Turbinite crest. So there's gonna be a Porsche logo on the top of the mech. Uh over here is the headlights. Inspired by Porsche's luxurious leather interior, so Diva has a leather interior. Interior, Porsche gloves, Porsche color swatch used for Diva's jacket, and then it moves on to the back, and it goes rear part inspired from Porsche, which is like these like, uh, these like uh, the jets, like the the little boosters, inspired by Makan's back car light. So like this one across the back, that says Porsche. No way it does that in game, right? Like, there's no shot. Uh, then these are supposed to be the brake ca brakes and brake calipers, uh, and then inspired by the reflective lights and the shocks from the suspension are down here, which is like this is kind of wild. Uh, I, I don't know where this came from. My guess is this like this is like a. a, a a, a, a total Microsoft thing, you know, like Microsoft came out of nowhere. It was like here, you know, <laughs> here's a collab. This shit's going to cost like a hundred bucks. Dude, I don't know how much this is going to cost if I'm, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, and then it goes even for, further in which Porsche then tweets this out and goes in the near future, global heroes unite to protect Earth as Overwatch. Overwatch game developers and Porsche designers collaborated to reimagine a play overwatch signature mech for diva inspired by the all electric makan see it only at porsche full service uh which i think is some kind of like irl event and there's an actual fucking mech like they made an actual life-sized diva mech uh and there's more i'll show you in a minute but like this thing's not small. <laughs> like, if, like if this is the size, okay. So, I mean, this is like a, an SUV, right? It's not a large SUV, but like, you know, you can tell it's on a pedestal, so it's a little bit taller. But then from like this angle, if you took the pedestal down, it's still like considerably taller, um, which is kind of insane. Uh, and then, is there audio? Yep, there's audio on that. So I'm going to be careful and try not to get DMCA'd. Uh, then this video got dropped. I haven't even seen this video. I just saw a couple tweets before I started stream. They dropped this video. I don't know if it's... D hey, hello? Hey, stop trying to get me... Okay. They dropped this video. And it's... The detail is insane. It kind of, like, low-key... Hey, I don't want to be that guy, but I, like it kind of reminds me of 2016 Overwatch. Cause if you remember back in the day, there was like a like an Overwatch Lamborghini that used to drive around. I wonder if it'll end up being a Porsche. But it's so like, where did this come from? Like, what is this? Like, what, what, what sparked this? And then Play Overwatch tweeted their own video. No DMCA. Their own video. Actually, wait, will Overwatch have DMCA music? Diva. Wait, what? Did that? Yep. Diva. 
There's no way that's DMCA. No, no, no. We're going to run the gauntlet. I don't care. Yep. listening <laughs> who is this who did this voiceover who the f is this you know what this reminds me of do you know the bentley girl do you know bentley girl chat if you know you know yeah yes yes it's bentley girl it's actual <laughs> it's bentley girl but for diva <laughs> I'm gonna play it one more time from the start because I I feel like you guys deserve it in one shot. I'm just That's not all. There's more. And then there's a bunch of fucking photos. Um, and this thing's huge. And those are those four. And then there's more. And it's like actual working lights and whatnot. And then more down here. I like someone's reply down here. We get it. <laughs> Dude, why is Twitter always just so mad? And then out of nowhere, I didn't have this on my fucking bingo sheet, but they flew out Jay, apparently, it looks like, to, to do something. This is literally as of three minutes ago. So I don't know what the fuck this is. I haven't seen this yet. So it says uh, Overwatch 2 Porsche XJ3. Hear what the man himself has to say about our latest collaboration at SXSW. SXSW. That must be... Wait, is that... Am I... SXSW. I feel like that's South by Southwest. Is it not? Is South by Southwest going on right now? Is that happening at this moment? Or coming up this week? Ah. Alright, let's see the vid. What do you got, Jay? What's up everyone, it's J3 at the Overwatch 2 Porsche Experience. We are here looking at the new Overwatch 2 Diva skin. Check out some of these awesome details such as the taillights, the headlights, the real leather interior, and you also can't forget about the feet. As a car guy... This is a sponsor post for sure, and he just said that. There's no f***ing shot. The real leather interior, and you also can't forget about the feet. As a car guy myself, I'm very excited to see this collaboration come out in season 10. So be on the lookout. Ain't no way. <laughs> also, yeah, Jay, Jay's got a McLaren, dude. <laughs> I, 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 I think he'll be okay. I think he'll be. I think he'll be fine. Um, but yeah, uh, huh, interesting, on J3's Twitter, he posted a pic of him next to it, alright, let me find this thing, alright, damn, dude, this thing's pretty big, you can't tell what it says down there, though, it's J3 size, yeah, you might be able to get in there, Any streamer driving a Pagani yet? Uh, no Overwatch streamers. <laughs> no. Um, I think Jay probably has the nicest car out of any any streamer that I know. Any Overwatch streamer. Uh. Oh yeah, then you had this one too. This one too. Hey, personally, I'm not a big electric car guy. Uh, I I think electric cars definitely are the way, but like, it's still like we're just. We were moving too fast. I don't think the technology's totally caught up yet. But, I mean, it's cool, though. It's cool. All right, really quick. I found this, too. 
Uh, Re-up and Overwatch 2 of the Porsche inspired a legendary D.Va skin and more. So it's not just a D.Va skin, it's, there's more too. In Season 10, we're joining Porsche for a new in-game collaboration featuring a legendary D.Va skin inspired by the all-new Macan Electric. Uh, this collaboration will feature multiple new cosmetics and two legendary skins. So that means there's another one. Uh, with the D.Va skin unveiled today. D.Va is not only incredibly cool... <laughs> I don't know why that's just a funny ass sentence to me. Uh, but with her mech's functional and uh, immediate identifiable design, she felt like the perfect hero to kick off Overwatch 2's next collaboration. As a character in universe for her loving or her love of engineering and constantly improving, Toki's connected her the right way with the attention to detail and care of Porsche. We know you'll love her new skin as much as we do. Uh, beyond the in-game collaboration, attendees can visit Porsche's full-service installation at Brazos Hall in 204E 4th Washington Street through March 12th to see a life-sized 7-foot statue, oh, so it's 7 feet, um, of Diva's Porsche skin created by Onyx Forge Studios. And keep your eyes open as Diva may be traveling to more gaming events later this year. I wonder if it goes if it goes to PAX East, maybe I'll go. Uh, known for innovation and groundbreaking design, we are thrilled to embody the essence of Porsche in this collaboration. The second skin, additional cosmetics, and full event details will be unveiled after the launch of season 10. I didn't have this on my bingo card. Uh, this seems like such an out of left field uh, thing, but I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I actually like Porsches a lot. Unfortunately, I don't think I could drive a Porsche. Uh, I don't think I'd fit in one. But uh, I've always liked Porsches. Porsches are cool, so. Yeah. Anyways, uh, <laughs> didn't see that coming, but hey, another collab next season. 